Jesus Christ. It's nice that Mikey and Steph seem to be staying here all day. Drew's been in a lot of pain today. Alright, well. Ooh, flowers. Those must be from Steph's parents. Wait, what's that say? Those must be from Steph's parents. Hope these bring you some cheer. From Granny and Grandpa. I must talk to him. Wait, can I seriously not talk to him from this side? Really? Is that necessary? Damn. Drew looks really low. Y yeah, he's possibly hey. lost his chances for college. Sorry for losing it there. It's nice of you to come by. No problem. Yeah, no problem. Easier than you coming to me. <laughs> You know what? I'm kind of tired. Oh. Oh, right, right. Sorry. I'll, um, I'll leave you alone. Yoinkers! Uh, what do you think you're doing? Uh, y you don't want that pudding, right? Uh, I'll take it off your hands for you. Over my dead body. Okay, Wonder if a little friendly competition all cheer drew up. Take what? Let's yours. see if I can convince Drew that I need the pudding more than he does. Okay. Who I want that pudding? Good thing we're in a hospital, because they'll know exactly what to do with your corpse. Oh. <laughs> you don't scare me, Chloe Price. Food is know scary. what's scary? The shit they put in cafeteria pudding. Animal connective tissue causes cancer. What? Doesn't matter. I'm gonna eat this pudding and there's nothing you can do about it. Eat your feelings. Uh, Jesus. Huh. I get it. You eat your feelings. Whatever stops the tears, man. If you loved pudding as much as I do, you might understand. Okay, now I feel bad. It's better to have loved. Hey, it's better to have loved and lost, right? No, that's something losers say. Losers reapers. Who are you calling a loser? I don't know. I'm not the one who lost the use of my leg. She went there. Oh, shit. She's not gonna quit, is she? Nope. Okay. I give in. We can share it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But don't get used to it. <laughs> Sucker. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Why are you even in my room? Mm hmm. Tea, buddy. Oh, good. Mm, mm, mm hmm. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Can I sign your cast? Hey, can I sign your cast? Go for it. Hmm. Something encouraging, but not too encouraging. The hell is that meant to be? You owe me. <laughs> Fucking hell. There you go. You owe me more dessert. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> so stupid. <sighs> What's this? Damn. An yeah. eight out of ten. Split tibial plateau, plateau fracture. Cuts the signal. Okay, it should be back. Let me just. Yeah, yeah that's good. Um, I don't know where it does cut it. I really hope it doesn't. It's because of the um, 
the speakers get cut and like that we have like the, like, All right. The speakers get cut, um, I'm going to head out. Journals, and it was it really great to see you, Chloe. Really Agreed. And it cuts off the Don't be a stranger, okay? Touch the Next line. time you better bring me a snack. Next time for sure. Oh, and Chloe? Mhm. Mm yeah. Tell Rachel we're rooting for her. Oh. You bet. Hello? What's this? Oh. Love me! Hey. Just heard the fire went out. Went out? You mean it's controlled? No. It's completely out. It extinguished itself. How could that be? I'm so relieved that Rachel's awake. I should see her right away. See? The fire went out and she was unconscious. I think she has powers. The games are usually about there's always almost always in this case there isn't and it, um but I think there there was. I think she did have powers. Too bad. Rachel's probably levels. waiting for me. Had powers. She's fucking cool. Unless you get stabbed. No kidding. Are you sure you heard right? Wildfires don't extinguish themselves. I'm just glad we don't have to go back out there. <sighs> Those guys look exhausted. Yeah. Talk to you in a second, Bibbs. Oh? Why has my son been assigned to you? I never authorized that he be seen by you. I was assigned because Nathan was becoming quite upset. So they sent a psychiatrist. Because my son was upset. <sighs> Holy shit. Please, Mr. Prescott, your son needs serious psychiatric... My son needs nothing from you. Put down a I'm so relieved that Rachel's awake. I should see her that right away. Is all. Sir, I believe your son is manifesting serious and alarming symptoms. Allow me the chance to... Nathan's already getting more than enough attention from one of you. I am fed up with these made-up problems. Not me. Not made up, dude. Oh. Um, Rachel's proud. Okay. So I had a cat break. I really regret overhearing that. Hi. Wow. Rachel's mom does not look okay. Hey. Chloe, I can't even express thank you so much. I'm sorry. I'm a wreck. I stepped out to get some air. Rachel doesn't need me crying in front of her. Your hair. I almost didn't notice it. Oh. Yeah. It's... It's not a big deal. I bet Rachel loves it. I can't imagine what I would do if we lost her. Me too. Me too. You've grown so close, haven't you? Yeah. Mm. It's weird to think we just met a few days ago. When you meet someone who changes everything, you just know. 
Well, hang in there, Mrs. Amber. I will. I'm so glad Rachel's okay. Really can't wait to see her. Let's go. One second. You owe me more dessert. Dad, I'm glad that you're here. Me too, Rachel. It really hurts. Shh. The pain will pass. Chloe's here. You want me to stay? No. I'll be okay. Thanks, Dad. I'll come back in a little while. My guardian angel. Hi. <laughs> I saw Steph earlier. She says, hey. <laughs> Steph's so cute, but not as cute as you. Stop. I mean it. Rachel, I'm sorry. What? What for? You're here because of me. Because I choked back there in the junkyard. What? Shut up. You were so fierce and I, I just froze. God, I fucked it up. I'm so sorry. And you saved my life. You saved my life. I almost lost you. I can't believe I almost... You're not getting rid of me that easy. Good. Happy that your dad's here. I mean... I'm still mad at him for everything he's done, but it felt so good to lean on him. He's my dad, you know? I felt completely safe. Like, like on, Mount Hood. on Mount Hood. Would you do something for me? Stop me again. I've grown a liking to it. Sarah. My mom. <laughs> it's so weird to say. I'm not even sure what she is, honestly. But <laughs> I think I still want to meet her. Figured you would. I don't even know if she's still in Arcadia Bay. She is. She still wants to. But if she is, will you find her, please? You really want this, don't you? I do, Chloe. I really do. Then, of course, whatever it takes. I bet my dad has her number, maybe in his office. Our house keys just under the mat. The code 
is 0722. To your... Your dad's office? 0722. Yeah. My birthday. I'll find her, Rachel. And then I'll... I'll tell her how fucking cool you are. Thank you, Chloe. For... Everything. Um, hey, Elliot. What the hell are you doing there? Hey! Wait. Your hair, it's different. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I like it. It's, uh, it's nice. I like your shirt, too. I don't think I've ever seen you wear that before. You keeping tabs on what I wear? Nice balloon. Uh, nice balloon, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's for Drew. Were you, were you just in there? I'm actually here for Rachel. What? Rachel's here? What happened? Uh, she got stabbed by a psycho. Oh my god. Yeah. It was insane. Holy shit. Wait, are, are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. She's fine too, by the way. Are you... Are you two in some kind of trouble? You can tell me if you are, you know. I won't judge. What? I don't even know what you mean. Come on. A random psycho going around stabbing people? For no reason? Well, that's what happened. Chloe. I'm seriously worried about you. Well, don't be. Uh, I mean, you're hanging out with Rachel Amber a lot lately. Right? So what? So, obviously, something is going on. It's really... It's really not your business, Elliot. <laughs> okay. That's fair. Just remember I'm here, okay? If you suddenly need something. Thanks. Oh. Hey, I, uh... I almost forgot. Did you... Like... Right on my whiteboard? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I totally did, didn't I? Yeah. I was, uh, pretty sure that was your handwriting. What did I write? You called me a creeper. Oh. I was probably messing with you. Don't worry about it, man. Yeah. Creepers aren't, uh, you know, that stuff's not cool. Anyway, see you around. Yeah, see you around, 
Chloe. Why did she forget? Hello? I need to search this office for any communication with Sarah that can help me find her. Why leave the door open? If it can rain ash, I guess it could snow in LA. Like that. It's the big one. James has a file on Frank. I'd love to read this, but I've got to focus on finding Rachel's mom. Best dad. That stuff is all politics anyway. Hmm. Sweet. The secret key. Now to find the secret lock. Arcadia Bay's least wanted. What do we have here? I should check the computer or some of those files laying around. Oh, fine. You're in my fun, why don't you? Sheldon. Why do I feel like I've heard that name before? <laughs> More sherry. Yeah, don't let them know any, that you got in there, you fucking moron. I guess getting your ass kissed comes with the DA territory. 
Pro tip. When digging for secrets, try the DA's computer. James sure keeps lots of files on people. Locked drawer inside locked office. Seems promising. Pro tip. When digging for secrets, try the DA's computer. Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother, this seems like a pretty terrible way to act. Welcome to Shadyville. Sarah sent all these letters. What the fuck? James never gave them to Rachel? That's so messed up. Giving me up was the worst mistake I ever made. I was struggling with something at the time. Something I've been battling ever since. That battle has taken everything from me. And most importantly, now I am in a place. Where I know I can be a part of your life. It's more than you, I deserve. I know, but I want to try. If you want to, let's take your time. If you have anything to say, or any questions you have for me or the main world. To write you didn't let you wait for me to write you again. I haven't heard from you, and that's okay, it really is. I just realized I have so much to catch up, catch you up on, you know. I don't remember much of my life, symptom of the choices I've made. So much is lost. So, too, I remember everything about you the crinkle of your nose, the depth of your eyes. The million smiles that somehow made it seem like you'd seen it all before. That somehow made it seem like you'd, uh, like you'd seen it all before. I could call it up when I had one as clear as summer day. I was so afraid, afraid that I would be a terrible mother to you and I screw up the way I screwed up most of my life. Now I know. Worse. My fear was wrong, far worse than being a bad mother. It's never knowing what kind of mother I would have been. So I'm sorry. If you can find the courage to forgive me, then we can start over. I want to. With all of my mind, I want to. What's that? Read it somewhere. Read the fortune cookie. I read it somewhere. Maybe a fortune cookie that you never step in the same river twice. Because after it moves, it's not the same river anymore. It's something new. You think, do you think that's true? Try to picture me reading these letters. I wonder what your reactions are. How I might seem to you. This mystery mother. I don't blame you for not writing back. You will write. When you're ready, I imagine your dad is still wary about all of this. It's okay, James is protective of you, just as I would be, but he's also a kind and compassionate person. That's the problem, really. I wasn't cut out for him. Or the life he wanted to give me, I knew it then, even when he didn't. I know. We can never have the same relationship we would have had. But I hope we can have something new together. I hope so much. The Sarah, Sarah in this letter doesn't seem anything at all like the person James told us about last night. And still, he's lying. 
James, I understand your reluctance to let me speak with, with Rachel. But don't you think the decision should belong to her? Everything I have over the past year, I've done over the past year, has been to prove to you that I'm ready to be Rachel in Rachel's life. I have gone through re rehab. I'm in recovery. I am no longer in need of money or assistance. I know I can be a positive influence on her. I am coming to Arcadia Bay in hopes that we can at least meet to discuss this so you can see how much I've changed. If you have any feelings for me at all, you will give me a fair chance to prove myself to you. Hopefully to reach out to you are you were the love of my life once. Please don't take this away from me. Yeah, he did. I, dear Mr. Amber, I represent Sarah Gearhart. Gearhart. Gearhart? Gearhart? Lawful mother of Rachel Amber and petitioner of partial custody of Rachel Amber. Her lawful daughter. Please notice that Oregon law state and all Oregon law requires current guardians of minors to respond in good faith to any and all lawful pensions by parents, petitions by parents to re-establish contact with their children. She has enough for a lawyer. On behalf of my client, I hereby demand you cease and desist from unlawfully denying contact between Sarah Gearhart and Rachel Amber. You are considered you are now considered to be on notice that continuing the refusal will result in a petition for suit filed under Oregon Family Law Statute 42.4b. Those letters constitute your final notice in this matter. So, this looks like Sarah stopped cashing the checks James sent her. Guess he forgot to mention that during his story last night. Three thousand a month. Not fucking bad. I have to know who James is talking to on the secret phone of his. It could be about Sarah. It could be Sarah. Okay, that's weird. I have to push down to go up. I told you you can, you can help me. I told you you can, you can. I'm told you can help me with my problem. Crossing the line, eh? Nice job. What's the right kind you were looking for? Call in fifteen. Well, this isn't charity. I'm gonna need you to do what we talked about. I can't. Sure, you can because I talked to your girl. She has a big mouth. Turns out she's not so easy. We're gonna need more, need to be more hands on. Don't hurt her. Relax, I've got my best guy on it. How's your daughter? You know, she attacked me first, right? You really should teach her to behave better. Nothing? Guess you don't need this taken care of anymore. What the hell is he asking to be taken care of? And. Clearly, it's Damon Merrick. James is working with Damon Merrick? He should be arrested. This is insane. Fucking hell. What were they talking about? Is the girl Damon's talking about Sarah? Whatever is going on, I need to see if Damon knows where Sarah no, is. I wonder if she hasn't been seen lately. But how do I get him to tell me? Where's Sarah? So we're using these now. Relax. Man. It's simple. Either you do what I want, or our little problem becomes a big problem. Now, did you take care of the evidence or not? Fucking hell. Shit. What do I say? You first. Or... I did. I know you're new at this, but here's how it works. 
You show me proof. I give you what you want. Hope James actually has this evidence. Don't think Damon will tell me where Sarah is. Unless I send him a picture. James sure keeps lots of files on people. Oh, oh, that thing, this area, these evidence. Shit. So Which of these is Damon talking about? I could just take a wild guess and see what he says. Or maybe there's some info on the case hanging around the office. Could this be the evidence? Damon and Knives mm -hmm. seem like a solid bet. Thomas Lumper. Victim. Eli Forbin. Recovered by Officer Ernie, F Ernie Yates. We found Thomas Lumper. That's... That's probably the fucking M... M... Or the Mel. Did Damon really shoot someone? <sighs> Guess I shouldn't be surprised. If TV has taught me anything, these babies will be swimming in DNA. Huh. All the oh, if TV has taught me Florida. anything, these babies will be. Could this Eli be Florida. the evidence? Did Damon really shoot Eli someone? Florida. They're all the same. Yes, I should. Um, crime report. Okay. Okay, let me just... Reporting Sergeant Alex Keller, top of the assault, Dan Merrick, age 31, and um, the, 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 How'd that work? Oh yeah, the the fucking fourth month, Jesus. Okay, I'm just trying to find. So it was before that, so. Um, after a verbal altercation, the victim, uh, Merrick, brandished a fire poker, hitting the victim several times in the head before fleeing the scene. Merrick's gloves were recovered and entered into evidence. 911 call received. A uh, officer arrived on the scene. The victim was taken to the hospital by a bystander who requested to remain anonymous. Named Damon Merrick as the assailant. Victim was oh yeah, from the hospital. Um, Arcadia Bay's least wanted. Merrick's gloves. So I'm guessing the gloves. Oh, I hope I'm right. Oh, what the f fuck? Okay, it's just because I'm, I'm closer to the TV, so my brain just went, what the fuck was that? Gloves. Yeah. And now you fucking destroy it. Why are you so why are you so bad at this? Get right on that. If I can figure out how. <sighs> Fire! How do I destroy a glove? Maybe I can burn it somehow. At least the wind is open. Does not look like it's on fire. Okay, now it does. That looks like wood, though. Maybe not the safest. Oof. 
Better not touch that again. Taking care of it, good. So, since you're destroying the evidence, might as well tell me which one of my guys was the snitch. No more. Sorry, Chief. I think you're gonna do what I asked. Tell me who it is, or maybe you'd rather deal with it. Deal with your own problem yourself. Damn. I hope James has something here to tell me who Damon's informant is. So I need to find which of Damon's guys has been snitching. I should search around the office to see if there's any info to help me out. Okay. Investigate. Okay. There's no way that Frank is snitching on Damon. Feeling lo oh, I love loitering. writing about his badass loitering charge. Exactly. Drug dealing charges dropped due to insufficient evidence. Oops. Really? Scars tattooed, tattoos unknown. They have a photo. And they have, and on, there's a giant tattoo on his neck, you dumbasses. Oh my god, they're dumb. It's nowhere near, it's not Frank. This is that freak from the mill. Sorry, hi. Wonder what Damon would think of his very cooperative comment. No miss check-ins. Verified income on last month, 1,775. That's a big one. I agree to aid the courts on future cases. That could be seen as a little snitchy. Gerald Scott. Who is Gerald Scott? Arcadia Bay's least wanted. Okay. If I'm going to accuse one of these guys, I'd better be sure I'm right. This guy let me into the mill. Cool dude. Could this douchebag be the snitch Damon's talking about? I totally knew this guy was a criminal when I stole from him. Uh. Guess I'm lucky James keeps so much info at home. I agree to aid the courts on future Who is cases. Scott? That could be seen as a little snitchy. Legal sale of stolen goods. Gerald Scott. Um. Um. Feels a little weird having this guy's records at my fingertips. This is that freak from the mill. Wonder oh. what Damon oh. would think of his very cooperative comment. Oh. Oh. The files. Ronnie Sears. Ronnie Sears, but that doesn't make sense to me. So it's, he, his name's Rodney Sears. The other guy. This guy's the snitch. He was so cool to me at the mill. Wonder if there's someone else I could pin it on instead. 
police after questioning by Ernie Gates, described as a highly cooperative source of information on local criminal activity. African American Samoan. I said I have to read African there. <laughs> I totally knew this guy was a criminal when I stole from him. This guy let me into the mill. Cool dude. Okay, so I could pin it on someone else. Um, I kinda wanna get it right. Oh, I can't tell between vendor. Or him. Ooh. Okay. I made a decision. I am accusing the vendor. This thunder is nice. This guy let me into the mill. Cool dude. And he will keep snitching. <laughs> and I don't really care if they keep snitching. Accuse. Payment? How much? I have it and then I'll figure it out. Here's hoping James already has Damon's money. <sighs> but where would it be? Um. I wonder if this has anything to do with Damon's stash. Investigate. He's so shady. He's the fucking DA and he's so shady. Holy shit. That must be thousands of dollars. Jesus. No wonder Damon wants it so bad. Fuck, that's Sarah. Jeez. And she's at the mill. What is he doing to her? Oh, God. See something delish? Okay. Let go. Holy shit. 
Does James even know what he's doing? No, clearly. Okay, I still have time. Damon's waiting for his money, right? He wouldn't do anything to her. Yet. Fuck. I need to get there fast. Chloe? What? Elliot? Hey! Elliot, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? This is Rachel's house, right? Did he really just follow me here? Did you... Did you follow me from the hospital? I did. I'm worried about you. I'm fine. You're the one acting crazy. You shouldn't be here. Chloe, what is... Ah. Elliot, put that down. You have no idea what you're dealing with. And you do? Chloe, God, what have you gotten yourself into? You... You wouldn't understand. Give me a chance. What the hell are you doing? Honestly, Elliot, you, you can judge me all you want, but it's pretty fucked up that you're here right now, and I don't have time for this. When? What? When will you have time? For me? You have all the time in the world for... for Rachel. I'm so sick of you not seeing who Rachel really is. When will you realize what she's doing to you? Elliot, just take a step back. No. You need to listen to me. What has your relationship with her gotten you? You, you don't know what you're talking about. First night you hang out, what happens? You end up in a fight. Uh. You don't know what you're talking about. Rachel saved my ass. I'm sure that's how it seemed to you. Stop, stop suggesting that she's somehow bad The for... next day she convinces you to skip school. Magically, she barely gets in trouble. And you get expelled. Dude. Rachel was there for me. Like, come on, you're being she a dick. She did everything she could to protect me. I guess it wasn't enough, huh? You don't understand. You weren't there. Was she protecting you when she made you take part in a play you didn't want to be in? S seriously, man. You, you need to shut the fuck up before- I've been quiet long enough. Look, Rachel is an amazing actress. And I don't mean on stage. She's fake. You're real. And- I hate to see her manipulate you like this. Elliot, I, I promise, n no one is manipulating me. No? Just look where you are now. A high school dropout, hanging out with criminals and breaking into houses. It's crazy. It just as easily could have been you in that hospital today. If that ever happened, you're a stalker, asshole. Dude, you, you know you sound a little stalkerish right now. Stalking is defined as repeated unwanted interactions. How long have my interactions been unwanted? Elliot. I'm the one who cares about you, Chloe. Me, not Rachel. It's time you saw the truth. What does that mean? It means you're going to stop thinking about Rachel and pay attention to me now, for once. Dude, just fucking go. Look, I'm sorry, but I really need to go. Why did you make me do that? You did it yourself. Can't you just listen to me? Go away. Elliot's gone full-blown crazy. 
I... I need to get the police to come without tipping him off. Who was there for you? When Max left? When your dad died? No one else gave a shit about you except for me! We have a lot to talk about. And I don't care how long it takes. We're not leaving until you see that I'm right. That is... Wrongful imprisonment, you fucking idiot. All right, Elliot. Y you want to talk so bad? Let's talk. What's really going on here? You can tell me. Uh, Amber says. You mean here? Specifically? Like, uh, the Amber House? I'm talking about your situation. Rachel is dangerous. You need to realize that. You're right, Elliot. I didn't want to admit it before, but it's true. My life is in danger. Thank you, Chloe. All I want is to help you. I'm glad you can finally see that. You're right. I do need help. I need help immediately. Hey, it's okay. I'm not going anywhere. I feel trapped. Boxed in. I desperately want to leave this situation. It takes a lot of guts to tell me all this. And I want you to know that I will always be there for you, no matter what. It's the police. Okay, don't panic. Uh, I'm sure they, they'll just want to ask us why we're here. What do we do? I'll talk to them. Uh, shit. Um, there's nothing to be concerned about. Thank you, Elliot. You're a great friend. Okay, bye-bye.